Yo, what is up guys? I'm Nick and you're watching Nick and Katie. Today, I'm gonna tell you all about these new grips that I have. These are the Census This Is The Boss lock-on grips. And these grips are a little bit different than your standard mountain bike grip. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. So before we get into that, let's get into the unboxing and the installation of these grips. And then in a little bit, I will tell you why these are freaking awesome, especially for free ride riders and people that are wanting to get a little bit jibby with their bike. So yeah, before we get started though, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. And uh, yeah, let's get started. These are Andreo Lacandegui's signature grips. You may recognize him from free ride events such as Red Bull Rampage. He was the one responsible for designing these grips. Specs on these grips are a 140 millimeter overall length, 115 millimeter grip area, and a 30 millimeter diameter. The This Is The Boss grip features overlapping flanges with double locks and snap cap end caps. I went with the black, but they offer three different grip colors, black, gum, and gray, and offer 10 different lock ring colors so you can mix and match to get whatever look you want. I was really stoked when I noticed that they sent stickers. I love when companies send stickers. And the next thing I noticed was how grippy the actual grips themselves felt. I've honestly never felt grips that tacky before. I thought they looked well made and I was stoked to get them on the bike. These are going on my 2022 Santa Cruz 5010. This bike is set up for jibbing, jumping, and having a good time. And that's why I went with these grips. Just in case you're curious, my bars are cut to 760. The coolest thing about these grips is they have four different positions you can run them in, so you can fine tune your comfort and preference. I ran them with the non-unison pattern on the outside and have the Census logo on the outer part facing me, which is the stiffest setup you can run. The grips went on rather easily since they are just grips, but be sure to have the hardware at the bottom of the grip. It's just a better look and once you get the lock rings snapped on, they seem like they would be a pain in the butt to take off. Double check your census logo is parallel to the floor on your end caps, install the hardware, tighten them up, and you're good to go. All right guys, so now that we unboxed these and got these grips installed, I'm gonna tell you my first impressions of these grips and then tell you a little bit about why I went with these grips. Now, when I first installed them on my bike, the first thing that I noticed was that my controls were way too far out and it just seemed like where my hand was comfortable on the grip was just way too close to the lever. So I had to slide them in literally about this much here, which was about the width of one of these little clamps here. And once I did that, the bike felt like it had like crazy fast steering, almost like a cross country bike or like an old retro bike or maybe even like a BMX bike. It was just like super whippy and just wanted to like turn on a dime. So obviously I didn't really like that at first, but then once I took the exact same setup, it didn't change anything and took it out to a trail. I realized that I could pretty comfortably move my hands around on the grips and still be able to reach over here and grab the levers. So even when my hands are all the way out like this, I can still reach these levers and it's not uncomfortable at all and it didn't make my fingers fatigue or anything like that. So what does that mean exactly? When you're going downhill, the wider your hands are on the bars, the more you're gonna be in control and the less the steering is gonna feel wobbly and twitchy. And then when you move your hands in, it's gonna make the steering a little bit more twitchy and in certain situations, having them wider is good. And in certain situations, having them closer is good. Now, when I'm just like pedaling my bike around, I really do like to have my hands a little bit closer in. My bars are already kind of a high rise here. So it's pretty easy to have a nice comfortable back position when riding, which I really like. But then when I'm really getting into the downhill, I can kind of space my hands out a bit, really whip the bars and feel like I'm a little bit more stable going downhill. Now, another thing I really like is when I'm doing jibs, like I kind of do these little like nose 180 jibs. If I move my hands in a little bit, it kind of gets my shoulders in and I feel like I'm able to spin a little bit better. So that's another thing I really like with having them in closer. Now, there is a freaking laundry list of different like reasons why you would want your hands in different spots. And a lot of the times when I'm riding, you'll see that my hands are kind of somewhere in the middle, which is like a nice neutral position. 
but the fact that you're able to move your hands around the bars really gives you a lot more bike control and maneuverability than you might think. So another thing I really like about these grips is they are super sticky. Now I always ride with gloves, but you really wouldn't have to. And I heard that a lot of people prefer to ride these grips without gloves because they are just so freaking tacky. Compared to any other grips I've ran, they are super freaking tacky and they just have a really good feel in your hand. I was also a little bit worried that with them being a bit on the thinner side that I was gonna have some hand fatigue, but with riding uh, a pretty full day last Saturday, I had no uh, fatigue or tiredness in my hands at all, so that was really nice. I've heard that these are a little bit more forgiving than the Census Swayze grips, which are a similar grip. They're lock-on, they're about the same length here but the Swayze supposedly are a little bit harder where these have a little bit more cush to them, so a little bit more comfortable. So the final reason why I went with these grips is I've been doing a lot of jumping in the past year and I've gotten my jumping skills to the point where I know this might sound a little bit crazy, but I wanna start maybe taking some hands off of the grips, maybe even like a foot or something here or there. So that's why I went with these grips, by moving the controls a little bit more inward and then having this large area here to grab back onto i feel like if i were to take my hand off i would be able to grab back onto the bike a lot easier so i'm kind of getting myself used to how it feels to ride a bike like this because in my head i feel like this is the best way to be able to work up to doing no handers and one handers and stuff like that so being able to have more area to grab onto is a huge plus and that's why these grips are super popular with free riders so all in all, I really like these grips a lot. Even just as casual riding grips, I feel like there's a lot of benefits. And when you factor in the fact that they're super good for free riding, I just feel like it adds an extra element to them. If you're just gonna be, you know, a regular rider that's not gonna be doing any tricks or, you know, moving around on the bike in crazy obscure ways, you're probably fine with just a regular standard grip. But if you're interested in doing any kind of like swanky maneuvers, I would definitely recommend the Census This Is The Boss lock on grips. They're super freaking awesome so far. And yeah, I freaking love them. All right, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed my unboxing, installation, and little review of the Census This Is The Boss grips. These are some freaking awesome grips. And if you're into the style of riding that I am, you might like the other videos that we have on this channel. So I would highly suggest subscribing to the channel and then going over to our page and checking out some of our videos. I kind of consider myself a little bit more like a free ride jibbing style rider. So a lot of the stuff that I review and the stuff I like, as well as like the bike that I ride, is kind of set up for that stuff. I would really appreciate if you would hit the like button on this video. And until next time, I'm Nick and you're watching Nick and Katie. Thanks for watching.